Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Love for Haitian Food. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please like, share this video, and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see here. Today, I'm going to show you how to make turkey tasso, tasso den, which is fried turkey. If you want to see how I make it, stay tuned. Guys, please remember that all recipes can be found on my website, loveforhaitianfood.com. With that being said, let's get to the video. To make this, you will need cleaned cut up turkey wings and cut up drumsticks, ipis, lime juice, salt, onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, cayenne pepper, clove powder, thyme, bouillon cube, and a hot pepper. First thing I'm going to do is clean my turkey. So I have my turkey here. I have cut up wings and cut up drumsticks. My aunt says cut up drumsticks is the best to make turkey tassel with. I have some white distilled vinegar, salt, two lime halves. I'm gonna start by pouring the vinegar all over the turkey. Followed by the salt. Just gonna sprinkle all of that salt on it. Then I'm gonna take my lime and I'm gonna reserve the juice of one of the halves. Then I'm gonna take the other half of my lime and squeeze that juice onto the turkey. So now mix that in. Get in there like that. Now I'm gonna go in with my kitchen shears and just remove things that, like this. This is a big piece of, this is a big piece of skin. You definitely don't need all of that. Like that's way too much. That, get rid of that. Like any excess pieces of skin, you can remove that. This doesn't have any. This is fine. You will see some pieces that have feathers on them. It's kind of hard to see. I don't know if you could see that. I don't know if you could see that feather right there. But you could just cut that off. Now I'm gonna rub each piece of turkey with the lime halves. Next, I'm gonna rinse the turkey under cold water. At this point, you could shudder your turkey, parboil it, which means to just pour some boiling hot water over it. Guys, don't crucify me, but I didn't shudder my turkey in this video. And you're probably wondering, how did she forget to shudder her turkey? I, I don't know. I had a lot on my mind. <laughs> it's okay. It still turned out good. I'm gonna add the lime juice. Followed by the ippies. and give that a good mix.
Then I'm gonna mix up my spices, give it a good shaky shake, and then sprinkle that all over the turkey. And then mix it well. Make sure all the crevices of the turkey gets all these delicious spices on it because we want our turkey to taste really good, right? <laughs> right. I ended up using tongs to mix the turkey and the seasonings to get it distributed everywhere because the spoon wasn't working. On a low to medium flame, I'm going to add my turkey into a small pot. And I'm gonna add a half cup of water, followed by my bouillon cube, and I'm gonna break that down in there. Now, I'm using a vegetable bouillon cube. If you're using um, like a Maggie maybe, you could just crumble it into the turkey when you're adding the other dry spices, but this one is really soft, so I need some heat to break it down. Then I'm going to add my thyme and my hot pepper. I'm gonna cover that and I'm gonna let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. So this is what our turkey is looking like after the 20 minutes. Now I am going to take it out of the pot and reserve the liquid so we can make a sauce later. But the reason why I'm taking it out of the pot is to let it drain a bit because we are gonna be frying this and we wanna get it as dry as possible. So oil is not popping everywhere. So here I'm just making a sauce. If you've seen my videos before, I've showed you guys how to do this. Um, just frying some tomato paste and then that reserve liquid that the turkey was cooking in, I pour that into that. And then I add some peppers, some onions, and the salt was perfect. So I didn't need to add any more seasonings. And there you have it, sauce to pour over your rice, pour over your turkey really easy to make I was trying to give the thumbs up, but my camera didn't let me be great. <laughs> so it's kind of blurry, but I was giving a thumbs up to let you know that the sauce was on point. So on a medium to high flame, I'm adding my oil to the pot. I'm gonna let that get hot. And then I'm gonna start frying my turkey, just adding it piece by piece. And be careful so you don't get burned. So here you can see I was using the lid to protect myself from the oil that was flying everywhere. And like I said before, even though I let it drain some, there was still oil popping, so be careful, guys. I let this fry for about three to five minutes, um, or just until golden brown, really. Cause it's cooked we just want to give it some color guys have you liked this video yet if you like what i'm doing here if this recipe is helpful to you if this video is helpful to you please like the video share it with your friends subscribe to my channel do all of that thank you in advance Turkey tassels looking good. So here the turkey was to my desired browning and this is after three to five minutes and now I'm taking it out. You could place it on a wire rack or a plate lined with paper towel.
Now is my favorite time, time to taste. I am going to go for this right here because it doesn't have any bones. Or does it? gorgeous turkey tassel tassel den mm. I serve this with Dilicola Pois Noir and the link for this recipe will be in the description box and it will be in the cards mm -mm -mm. see Guys, l'el bon, for dil bon, li bon, li bon bon bon. <laughs> I really hope you guys try and like this recipe. Like, mm, 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 mm. -mm. Music is My Wife by King Flunts. Thank you for watching. Bye. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Subscribe to my channel and watch some of my previous videos while you're here. Thank you.